pillow that the whip got two doors. Wild car better than my first, like Uno. My neck froze like Pluto. Beat a nigga ass like Sumo. What's going on guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another mother loving vlog. Today is the day guys, we're gonna lower the truck. It's, it's fucking time. Um, I got my kit here from IHC. IHC lowering suspension, uh, they're they're based out of Texas. I forget exactly oh, where. Houston area. Uh, Houston, there right here. Palm View, Texas, wherever the hell that is. It's somewhere east. All right, here's the unboxing. This is the front. That. Oh, some nice arms. Yeah. These are the upper control arms right here, guys. Sheesh! You got you smiling like that. Well, it's, it's, these are... Damn, they even gave me magnets. Shout out to... This is uh, Mr. Boom. I don't know if you guys know who this guy is, but yeah, it's Mr. Boom right here. Same color truck right here. Anti-meter blue. These are the lower control arms right here. Those other sides. And then that's all hardware and stuff, right? Yep. They sent me a kit for a four-wheel drive one. Dude, so don't sell them. Yeah, hard. yeah, these are for four-wheel drive stuff. Uh, this is a kit, and then these are drop shocks. Oh, there they are. There's the flip shackle. Yes, sir. Let's get started. Let's lift her up. All right, whatever, dude. All right guys, a little update. We've dropped the axle officially. Right now we're about to take um, whatever the f these things are called though. Uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, I forget what they're called, but we're taking them off. <laughs> uh. Sheesh. Is that? Yeah. Switch sides. Switch sides with me. I need a C-clamp. <laughs> Alright guys, we got a bit of a rare occurrence here. We don't usually do this, but he's got some instructions pulled up in there. And I'm actually reading them, guys. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, guys. Oh. Oh, no. Is that a thigh? No. All right, guys, we got into a little dilemmas here, guys. So, we're ready to do the flip kit, but we can't remove this bolt. We're gonna have to take the other side off, and I really don't want to do that. Ah, try there. Take it out there. Oh, you're seeing with it loosened a bit? Yeah. Great success. All right, guys, now it's time to do the flip kit, so. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm just that work. Bro, it's following instructions, dog. All right, that's good. There we go. Very nice. Nice car. Dude, this is like the third time I ever used this fucking <laughs> torque wrench. I bought the Mako a long ass time ago. Look how shiny it is still. Never fucking use it. Oh. No more muffler. This is part of the plan just a week early. All right, you ready? What am I doing here? Flip kit time. Er, have, we had to take the fucking exhaust out. Everything, but. Let me just grease this up a little bit. Am I doing this right, dude? Nah, so you gotta spit on it. Spit on it. Hot. Get a loogie in it. <laughs> so we said it goes like 
Like that, right? Oh, cabron. Bro, I'm gonna have to edit this one too. Oh my god, dude. Modify it. What you're going, what you edit are your pictures and these fing ass videos that we put out. Hey. Alright, so. I mean, uh, brackets are in for leaf springs. Um, we had to actually take the whole exhaust off um, because it was a pain in the ass and we couldn't move the whole rear end around it. So it's we're, we're loosely putting everything back in place. Um, we're trying to get these uh, foot brackets here for the leaf springs and the U-joint. He's having to shave one of them down because That it's, one I'm gonna have to shave it too. Oh. Uh, Great work! I'm dehydrated and I feel like Alright, All right, check if that fits Great out. Great dog. No, get the fuck out of the way, bro. I'm, look, I'm petting, petting Holly. Good girl. Very nice dog. Clouds have kind of gone away, so hopefully it doesn't start cats and dogs on us. If it does, uh, I'll just leave it as is and I'll just work on it tomorrow. Alright guys, I apologize for not filming this, but uh, we got the brackets on. I, I don't know if you guys can see them. Okay, so they, they hold the axle in place here, and we've got this top piece right here that technically slides over these brackets. And uh, Israel over here fing dropped the whole rear end. First try and rotated it perfectly. Right? Great success. High five. All right, guys, more and more progress. It looks like it wants to rain, so we're finishing up. Um, we got the the drop shocks going in right now. He just put in the sleeve. Um, uh, all right, man. I'm gonna explain. So we got everything tightened up, guys. Leaf springs, flip kit, shackles, plate at the bottom. Um, everything else we, we got in. I just have to put in those uh, little brackets in now. Uh, we got the exhaust in. She's nice and tight. Can I put this wheel on. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should be able to, and then. We're, gonna, we're about to drop it right now, guys. <laughs> uh, keep going. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Woohoo! Oh, God, bro! <laughs> you me, bro! bro. <laughs> There it is, guys. Well, there's the back. We still gotta do the front, but I'm probably not gonna do it today because it's about to rain. I like the squat. Dude, this pump is lower than I thought, dude. Jesus Christ. It'll probably still settle a little bit. Huh? It'll probably still settle a bit more lower. Bro, this used to be like up here. Yo, what's going on guys? It is the next day. Um, I'm gonna get wor working on this, uh, on the front side. Right now, I'm gonna take the tire off. All right, guys, so I'll bring you all over here. Um, the kit comes with lower control arms, upper control arms, um, and I'm going to be using the same factory strut assembly. Um, I just have to take remove the pins out of the, the strut itself, um, and then there's like a little spacer that goes in between uh, the new one and that. I'm just taking out the struts, the strut assemblies things right now. Um, I already took the bottom ones out with the impact, so those are super easy. So I already took this bolt off. I'm about to take this one off, but I'm gonna take this this bad boy off that holds the knuckle in place. Um, that way, that's already all nice and loose. Um, and then this should come forward a little bit, but I'm gonna lower the jack and then or put it under a piece of wood. Put the control arm under a piece of wood. That way, it doesn't just fall down. Um, to just keep give it some support. So, yeah. so I just put this bad boy in. This is the upper control arm. Uh, I got the strut assembly out. So yeah, I was able to remove this. And the strut and like I said I just discombobulated this this the sway bar link and then the tie rod as well um, and then I got the, the knuckle sitting on here because like I said I didn't want to take this apart so I'm gonna do all the top stuff first and then I'm gonna do the, the control arm last the bottom one so I'm in the process of that I really love the shout out to IHC it comes with nice little greaser so um, the bushings are always gonna be nicely greased up uh, lower control arm is out so yeah what I ended up doing is putting the strut assembly in obviously um, tightening up the the ball joints then putting it up on the head with the spindle remember to always put your spacer in I think if I'm not mistaken it goes on the top portion I'll have to double check the instructions real quick but uh, yeah guys it was a super easy process like I said I didn't take off the caliper or anything everything stood up um, 
For a second, I thought I was going to have to remove it, but if you have a second hand, you should be good to go. Just just somebody just holding it in the meantime. We got the lower lower control arm in. Um, now I just got to put the, the strut with the, the new bolts. Uh, and these on the IHC kits, you have to, these come with, uh, the original factory struts come with pressed in bolts. So you just have to press them back out. Got to tighten this up. I still have to put the sway bar link in. Um, and then I got to tighten up the bottom and then put the tie rod in. I'm officially all, all done on this side. Ended up greasing everything up. Shout out to IHC. Now it's time for tire. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's down. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to look because the other side still needs to get lowered. But moment of truth. Y'all ready? Yeah, guys, I know it looks like booty cheeks right now, and it doesn't even look like the truck's been lowered at all, but uh, like I said, it's just, we're kind of here, kind of at an incline down, um, and it is downhill, um, and then I still need to lower the other side to compensate. Uh, you can definitely tell, like, it lowered a little bit, but not much. It's not, it's not going to move until I do the other side, so. The front was super easy, guys. It took me about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, give or take, so uh, it was a pretty quick job in the front. Um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow, um, get all that finished up, and then I'm going to take her to go get aligned, and should be good to go. Yo! We're in a different setting. We're on a romantic stroll. Yeah, we're on a romantic stroll. Check it out, guys. But, you guys ready to see this? Ready? Ah! 